So it's a big day on the van build today. Ronnie's going to be getting some new windows. And shortly we've got Darren from Glasser Vans. He's going to be coming and fitting the windows professionally for us. I'm going to ask him nicely if he doesn't mind us filming a little bit. So fingers crossed uh, he agrees to that. So that's the window for the driver's side. Shout out for Glass for Vans. Great news though, Darren says he doesn't mind us filming a little bit so we can, can see how he, he pulls this off. shears to cut the hole out for the window. Much better and tidier than a jigsaw. There's definitely no turning back now look. I notice that you do it in like one go as well don't you? It's not like... Oh no no yeah you don't want to uh, contaminate it you see this is the thing. So primer to both bits, the window yeah, and the... Yeah, some people don't do that and that's why they fall out. <laughs> that's the trim going in. And it's a bit more primer and then I think Darren's going to put the glass in. Very excited. So if you're fitting windows yourself, you've really got to make sure that everything's spotlessly clean. Or it might end up falling out. These are what Tom Cruise uses for climbing up skyscrapers. <laughs> yeah. So that bead's about a centimetre deep, isn't it? Yeah. And pointed. So from some of the videos I've seen, people tend to put the, the glue straight onto the window. But Darren knows what he's doing and he's put it onto the van. And there's none going on the window. So it's now moment of truth time. So that tape goes on to stop the window falling down. So that's looking awesome already. Really happy. So this window's a little bit more complicated. Got to do some measuring on this one. Angle grinds out again to get rid of those support struts. So we've cut out of the way. Yeah, I didn't realise that the windows had these channels in them for, for drainage. So when water's coming from the other side, <laughs> it runs down here and then it can escape through these channels. And because these are raised, that is why you need the, the steeper bit of a bonding agent along these edges. So that layer of primer is just for... You know, because red. it's bare metal. I've seen a lot of people put like red oxide around there and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, this is exactly the same, it'll do the same job. If you wouldn't mind doing me a favour and hitting that like button if you're enjoying the video, it really helps the channel out. 
and the trim goes over both layers. Is, is, is that double skin as well? This one's double skin, yeah, but I think I can only get it behind this yep. one, you see. That one will have to show, you know, just the white part there. But. Hey, so that is the trim done, all primed up. All that's left to do is put the glass in. So you might be able to see the big groove in the nozzle there, so that gives you the right bead depth, doesn't that's it? That's it, that's the one. Thanks, by the way, for playing actress. <laughs> I've been on videos before with the AA. Oh, you're a dab hand, are you, then? Yeah, it was uh, a long time ago. I don't know if it's still on YouTube. My kids keep finding it. <laughs> How much you want paying for it for royalties? So having a power gun makes all the difference for keeping it consistent, doesn't oh, it? Oh, yeah. So I was worried that they'd be like the you know, stick-on cups you get for your sat-nav that fall off your windscreen. <laughs> oh no, the solid, the technology for these are brilliant now. I've got the single one in my van as well to do the back windows, you know. There we go, just get that up there. So you get it lined up and then you've still got a little bit of movement if you need it. That's, that's correct. Brilliant, that one. Like that. There you go. See, take your time. There's no, there's no errors. Love it. See, lovely. So that's Darren on his way. He's done an awesome job. Really happy with the finish on these windows. What it looks like from the inside. What do you reckon? Looks good. Very happy. I'm mm. just going to shut you out in a minute. Yeah, that. Brilliant. These might be a little bit. Oops, that's right. Yeah, like leg it a lot. It's like having an ND filter for your camera. So, uh, I think we're both really glad that we got. The professionals in to fit the windows for us however darren was saying that it's something that you could possibly have a go at yourself but he also said you only get one go at it so make sure you do all your measurements correctly you need to make sure the hole that you're cutting out isn't too big or too small make sure that everything is thoroughly clean so that is the glass and the bodywork that you're going to be bonding the windows to you need a good constant bead of the bonding agent so and the tool that he was using made the bead about you know, half an inch thick. It didn't look like bird poo either, it was really smooth and consistent. But if you want to have a go yourself, that's entirely up to you. We didn't mind paying a little bit more to make sure the job was done right, so highly recommend the glass for vans. Cheers Darren, you've done a really good job. That's all she does. I've been on tea duty. <laughs>